Hey guys, so today I'm going to be filming a tag, and this is the starting YouTube tag. I was tagged by Georgia, my friend Pink Free is 133 and I hope you guys all enjoy. I haven't done a tag video in a really long time, and I enjoy doing them so much, so I hope you guys enjoy this tag. So the first question is, when did you start doing YouTube? Now, I've been on YouTube since probably 07 or 08. I've been on YouTube for a really long time. But I've only had this channel since July 27th, 2009. I think that's the date. Um, I had an old username that I made in like the 7th grade and it was so stupid. I don't even remember what it is. But I remembered thinking this username needs to be changed. So I changed it and then made Par Sounds Like Pear. And I've had it since 09. So I've had this channel since 09, but I've been on YouTube since 07 or 08. The second question is what made you want to start making YouTube channels? So I've never talked about this, but my YouTube story is actually kind of interesting. I was on Facebook one day and one of my friends I saw had liked a page that was named Juicy Star 07. And I thought that was the most interesting thing in the world. I didn't know what this was because normally when you like pages, they're like, inanimate objects or they're people that you recognize so when I saw Juicy Star 07 I was like what the heck is this so I was really bored one day and I clicked on it and lo and behold Juicy Star 07 was a makeup guru so I spent all day watching her videos non-stop and then in one video she mentioned that she had a sister Elle who did the same type of videos that she did so then I started watching All That Glitters 21 Elle who is her sister and then I think Elle mentioned someone else, I don't really remember, but from there it just kind of went on and on and on and I found the Makeup Guru community from Facebook, which I haven't heard a lot of people find it that way, but I just think that's so interesting because um, the power of Facebook and YouTube is um, so immense, it's crazy to think about. So um, I was watching YouTube videos for about maybe a year about makeup and that's really how I learned how to do makeup. I had absolutely no idea how to do makeup before I started making YouTube videos. I think that's so amazing how YouTube can teach you how to do anything. You can literally type that into YouTube, how to blank, and it'll tell you how to do it. So I think that's so great that YouTube is now being used as a teaching device and I'm so happy to be a part of this whole teaching makeup uh, community. So that's how I found the makeup guru community. <laughs> and that's basically why I wanted to start making YouTube videos. I saw how those girls were being helpful to other girls and teaching them. And I wanted to take what I had learned from them and pass it on to other girls. So I'm really happy that I started making YouTube videos. I think it's one of the greatest decisions that I've ever made and it's so much fun connecting with you guys and to just think that I have like 250 people who watch me and find something helpful. Even if it was just one person watching me and learning something from me, I think that's just an incredible feeling to know that you're being helpful to someone and I really recommend it if you like to help people or if you just really like makeup in general I think it was a great decision for me and for most people because I've made a lot of friends too like Georgia the girl who tagged me if you don't know who that is I'll leave her link in the bottom bar but you guys all need to subscribe to her because she's one of my YouTube friends and I would have never met her if it wasn't for YouTube Number three is what age were you when you started watching YouTube videos? I think I mentioned this before, but I was in middle school, probably seventh or eighth grade, and then when I actually started making them myself, I was in the beginning of my sophomore year, which was about July of 2010, is when I really started to make them. Number four is what camera do you have? I'm not sure. I know it's a Canon. Um... Okay, so I looked this up on my computer just from the numbers that were on my camera. The camera that I use is called the Canon Vixia, V-I-X-I-A, HF100 flash memory high definition camcorder with 20 time optical image stabilized zoom. That's all I know. That's off the Amazon website. 
Um, so that's the camera that I use. I really like it. I did not buy this myself. It's actually my dad's camera. He used to be really into filming videos about our vacations. So he bought this because it's a really nice HD camera. And um, he's been letting me use it for videos. So thank you, Dad. But that's the camera that I use. Number five is, does anyone know about your YouTube channel? And if so, who? Basically, most people know about my YouTube channel. Um, at first, I didn't tell anyone. Not even my parents knew. And then one day they were like, uh, why do you have a camera in your room? Because it kind of looked suspicious. And I was like, oh, I make YouTube videos now. And they were like, okay. So that's how basically like my family found out. And then one day, this guy from my school, he was whatever. I woke up and I saw that he had posted on my wall and it was my dog video. He had just posted it on my wall. And the first thing that I felt was like, anger. I woke up, I was so mad, I deleted it off my wall, and I was like, okay, no one saw it, like, I got it quick enough. No. <laughs> I got to school, all of my friends had seen it on my Facebook wall. So, that was a really hard day for me, just because I really hadn't been prepared for everyone to see me. I thought it was just going to be a normal day of school, and it turned out that all of my friends knew. I think I had told, like, my best friend, but other than that, really no one knew. Um, so, I'm not sure, I think I filmed the dog video about a year ago, so they've known for a year, but that was just a really hard day. I was really angry, like, even when people would talk to me about it, I would just kind of be like, whatever, and I, I would act like I didn't really care, but I was kind of upset just because I hadn't really thought about what I was going to say to people. I thought they were all going to make fun of me. And I mean, some of my, like, guy friends kind of made fun of me, but they were kind of joking at the same time. We have this weird, like, make fun of each other humor. So that kind of went on. And then, like, my better girlfriends were kind of supportive of me. And it, my channel kind of exploded. I'm in band, so mostly it's just band kids that know because my school has over 3,000 people in it, so obviously 3,000 people don't know about my channel or else I'd have way more subscribers. But um, it's mostly like the band kids that know, which now I'm okay with. It was kind of a shock when they did find out, but I'm glad that they do now. Now that it's over, I look back and I'm happy that people know about it just because I'm not like closing something in. And now if someone comes up to me and they're like, oh, you make YouTube videos? I'm like, oh, you didn't know, and then they feel stupid. So I think how to deal with people finding your YouTube channel is you just have to f deal with it with humor and laugh about it a little bit, or don't even, like, try and hide it. Just tell people that you have it, because I think it's going to be way easier saying, oh, I have a YouTube channel and I talk about makeup, rather than people finding it and then trying to like make fun of you and make you feel insecure and like they're superior and you should never have to feel like that um this is something that you should be proud of if you do it and I really just think that if you go into it knowing that people are going to find out about your videos you're going to be way more easygoing when people actually do find out so yeah basically everyone knows like all of my family all of my friends no hiding it anymore, it's out there. Number six is, do you get teased for making YouTube videos? Um, I kind of just covered this by accident. I didn't know this was the next question. But when people first found out, I did get teased a little bit. People barked at me because they found my dog video. But other than that, like, it wasn't that bad. Um, I think it was just me, like, mentally thinking that it was horrible, that everyone knew, that kind of it got to me. But other than that, there wasn't a lot of teasing. Now, a year later, after people found out, I'll occasionally have someone like jokingly tease, but I know that they're just joking and I'm really not teased at all. They think it's kind of cool that I am helping people and a lot of my friends want to be in my videos. Um, so I don't get teased anymore, but initially when people found out I did get teased just a teensy bit, but it was more like a joking tease. I mean, they were my friends, so I knew they were joking. I'm at a point now where I really just don't care if people tease me, like, this is what I like to do, this is my hobby, I love makeup. When people say, like, what is your hobby? I collect makeup, that's my hobby. So the fact that I'm sharing my hobby with people, I don't see why that's, like, such a big deal. 
Um, so even like when my friends jokingly tease me now, I'm just like, haha, like whatever, you're so funny. And we kind of move on. Like we're all pretty much over it. The people who don't know, we're just kind of like, really, you don't know? Like, where have you been? So it's really not a big deal anymore. Um, I think initially when people find out, it's, they're like, oh, like, you're not cool, whatever. And I'm like, okay, I'm not cool for helping people and talking to people. Excuse me, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, what are you going to do about it? So, I mean, it's kind of weird that I sit in my room and I talk to myself and to a camera, which is it which is an inanimate object, but honestly, I don't care what other people have to say about it. It's what I like to do, and I'm sorry if you're not okay with that. Number seven is what advice would you give to someone who wants to start YouTube? And I kind of have slipped in little advice things here and there. I think the number one thing is you need to just do it if you want to. Like, don't let other people get in your way. If this is something that you really like and you really like helping people, do not let people that you think are going to tease you or that they're going to make fun of you get in your way of doing what you like to do. So that's my number one tip. And if you want to do it, just do it. Don't live your life thinking, I wish I had started a YouTube channel. Don't want to live the rest of your life regretting something that you would have loved to have done. Number eight is what have you got out of YouTube? I also talked about this earlier, but honestly, like just the satisfaction of knowing that I've helped one person is a great feeling. I love putting up tutorials or things where I can teach you guys things because I know that there's someone out there that's benefiting from them. If it's just how to use eyeliner or how to put on mascara, like there's something to learn from most of my videos at least. And I love that feeling of knowing that someone has learned something. Um, another great thing is you make friends. Like knowing that there are other people who do the same exact thing and love the things that you do is a great feeling. And like my friend Georgia, like we're really good friends now and I would have never known her if it wasn't for YouTube. So I think like those are the main two things that I've gotten out of YouTube, just like friendship and knowing that I've helped someone. I think that's the one of the best things about YouTube is that it's such a unique device and that it's so versatile and you can do whatever you want, but you're still helping people along the way or just doing something that you love. I think that's another thing that I've gotten out of YouTube. I love talking about makeup and I love teaching people about makeup. So anything makeup related is just what I love to do. So this is finally something where I can use what I love. So that was the last question. I hope you guys enjoyed this semi-long video. I hope you guys all have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.